Apple stresses a lot on their privacy and security. In fact, they have a whole ad campaign touting their privacy and security, be it the flexes or the videos and whatnot. But really, how does the Android stack up against iOS in terms of privacy and security? So let's try and find out that in this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like this video, guys. Let's begin. Starting with the basics, both iOS and Android have this camera and mic indicators. So whenever there is a camera that is opened by any app, it does show that indicator. The same goes with the mic and this is very important so that you know which apps are using your mic and camera so to avoid getting spied in the most vulnerable fashion. But Android does go a step ahead here. You can completely disable the camera and mic hardware system wide so no app can actually use the hardware this switch is currently missing in the ios but you can disable camera per app basis however it's very convenient to have this one single switch to completely disable the hardware another thing that android copied from ios for good is the clipboard access notification just in case if you didn't know in the past we have seen some third party apps copy the clipboard data without the user's consent which could include credit card details or the passwords so whenever you copy something on your phone it gets copied to the system clipboard so you can paste it where you want later on so now both the platforms are smart enough to notify whenever a third party app uses that clipboard data by notifying to the user making the user aware of what's happening another cool feature is you can have a bird's eye view of what's happening in the phone which apps have access to what. On the Android, you have something called the permission manager. On the iOS, you have something called the privacy report. But if you notice on the Android, I can just go ahead and see which apps have permissions to what. And I can disable the unnecessary ones as you can see right here. But on the iPhone, I cannot do any actionable stuff right here, but I can go into other settings page and manage all of that. So both of them are pretty good here as well. Another thing Android is blamed for is tracking and personalized ads. You can simply disable them here in the privacy settings and you also have similar settings on the Apple and if you want to get rid of that personalized ads and stuff you can also in fact you should disable these. But iOS does go ahead with its sign in with Apple feature. So when you want to try a new app or service you need to register with your email address and that is exposed to those third party apps or services in turn you may also get a lot of spam but on the iphone you have the sign in with apple which does not expose your email address you can hide your email so apple creates a virtual id and your email address is basically not exposed to those services or apps so it is definitely a lot better on the iphone particularly with this feature let's hope android brings this feature in the future versions Another cool privacy feature that iOS has introduced is you can choose whether an app tracks you or not. When you install an app, the app sends a sort of a disclaimer so things feel a bit more transparent and straightforward. Although it may not be perfect, it is a step in the right direction. Also they have added something called the mail protection which hides your IP so you are getting additional layer of security. Another area of concern is browsing. This is where a lot of tracking happens a lot of trackers and cookies and whatnot. Safari blocks all the cookies and cross-site tracking. You can also see a privacy report in the Safari app about the trackers but on the Chrome they are trying to get rid of the third-party cookies but at this moment iOS has an edge over here. Also we must not forget Android is an open source so it depends on the brands, their skins and their priority on the privacy of the user. Particularly on the budget Android phones we find all sorts of ads and a lot of disclaimers so it's probably not a fair comparison unless you are comparing it with the stock android so yes ios leads in terms of privacy features and their focus on the user's privacy but android is not too far behind i hope they add some of these features and maybe put some privacy guidelines and restrictions for these brands to comply with so that users get a more unified software experience so that's been it guys if you found this video helpful like this video, also subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.